That's it for this episode. Thank you to Jeff Lennar for coming on. But we, of course, have to get to our best bets. Uh, at Biggie's Ben, should we have our guest host come on with his best bet? It doesn't have to be from one of these games. could be anything on the board so far. Uh, but if you like it, wherever you'd like it. Or would you want to go first, Ben? Before we touch on the best bets, do we want to touch on quickly on the big news coming out of Chapel Hill today? Um, David Davis Rand is uh, returning back to his favorite pizza place to order a cheesesteak. Bill Belichick uh, <laughs> presented the administration with a 400 page manifesto. I don't know how he typed that quickly. It seemed, yeah. what was there, four days between interviews? Um, you don't, you really don't know. He, he asked his 24 year old, uh, assistant, 26, Griffin, 26 year old, excuse me, 26 year old assistant. She said, Oh, I can put that into Chat GPT. I, I don't know what I mean. Again, we're we we're very close to a, a prominent UNC alum who is really hasn't made up his mind about it. I think he keeps flip flopping either side. Uh, I think it's a great hire he's in the African American Studies classes, and he's the reason why they didn't shut down the basketball program. <laughs> Shout out Rashawn McCants. Um, I think it's a great hire. I don't. I don't know why Carolina fans are complaining. Um, you're getting the greatest coach of all time to your never been relevant program before. Um, interesting to see how he recruits. I don't. Interesting to see how. I've heard rumors of uh, stipulation of the deal is Steve Belichick is automatically coaching, uh, coaching waiting. Uh, I think that is not great. But um, interesting story that came out of nowhere. Yeah, Steve definitely helped uh, one of my roommates in New York's uh, little brother beat the marijuana tests at Rutgers. So uh, you know that he will have all of his players eligible. Uh, Jeff, if you could <laughs> picture yourself in 2005 uh, with a coach coming into your living room trying to recruit you as a uh, offensive lineman, and he had a hoodie with cutoff sleeves and a forever attached speaker system to his uh his right hip what would you say when uh his name is bill belichick and he tried to greet a young jj lennar jr i i tell you that's a football guy and i want to play for him all right so you love it all right so north uh, carolina uh we might as well be looking at some futures for them coming in to win the 2025 okay so and real quick just to back us up I, I understand where unc is going with it like he's an aging coach he's only really nfl experience blah 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 it's like who else was UNC going to hire? Matt that guy Campbell, you Matt Army Campbell kicked the shit out of last he week. He said no. Oh, yeah, Campbell. Yeah, he's – I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I, it's up open in a question. I don't know how uh, competitive that job is. I mean, Mac Brown took it, you know, at the you know tail end of his career. Maybe UNC is upset. They're kind of doing the same thing with Belichick. I don't know how much longer he's going to coach. But, I mean, I, I think it's going to generate a lot of uh, – interest in the program from recruits um so we'll see anything to get the heat off their uh basketball team probably a good idea starting three point guards at the same time and uh wondering what they're gonna do to try to get hubert hubert davis to go back to espn uh so biggie spend should we give our uh newcomer the the first pick on our best bet portion of the show or do you want to take it uh first and let him be uh the middle uh jeff go first floor is yours Maybe plus six and a half outright win over Army. All right. Go to uh, at Jefferito. I'll figure out how to spell that afterwards. I think we'll it's called like it. Burrito with Jeff in front of it. Uh, for we'll the do Navy. something. Yeah. We'll... Plus six and a half. We'll, we'll work that out and uh, let everyone know <laughs> before this gets <laughs> published. Uh, at Biggie Spen, where do you want to go for your best bet in this college football episode? Clemson plus 11 and a half. Yeah. It's my number two. Well, I, I guess that leaves me all by myself, uh, all alone, just me and my own. And I will take Tennessee as seven and a half point underdog. Uh, I guess we are, we're not really a believer in home field advantage. Any of us taking the road dogs across rivalry games, across playoff games and across any sort of thing we can find as we get ready for what will eventually be a, a much better, I think, quarterfinals than this uh, round of 12 or whatever the heck we call it. Uh, I want to thank Jeff Arito at Jeff Arito for joining us in this episode. We hope that we can get, if, if they don't cancel us and they bring us back next season for the need for screens, college football podcast presented by the pregame.com podcast network. 